Hey guys, hey, oh, just... welcome back to Drathen Nake 4. <laughs> As I was saying, hey, welcome back, everyone. I just slapped Alex really hard in the face. <laughs> yeah, it'll sting for years. I punched him. Emotionally, I mean. Well, that seems... Yeah, I did it. Thief's end. Oh. There's no controls, oh. but I bet I could pull the platform with my rope. Just like this. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how I did this. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, no, that's Maybe not if it. You could get to that wooden platform down there. Maybe if you could shut your pipe trap mouth. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Pipe trap mouth. Yeah, I don't know. I just. It's noon, and I haven't like. And to me, that's like six in the morning. Yeah. But like, not like a. Even that wasn't a good comparison because most of you, a lot of you are waking up at six. In the, it's to me, like by comparison for most of you, it's like four in the morning. Yeah. Which is when we actually went, to, or when I actually went to bed. It was around four in the morning. Yeah. What What is this going to accomplish? Not me. I'm going to go to bed right after we finish this recording. <laughs> Not even kidding. I'm going to go to bed at 2 p.m. No, 1.30 p.m. Damn. But hey, live your life, dude. Achieve I'm going to wake up at 10 p.m. Made it. Here we come. I'm going to keep pushing it. I'm, I'm planning on getting a background for my face cam pretty soon. I'm really? I'm going to go to Home Depot. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to get some plyboard. Mm-hmm. What, gonna, gonna, what is it going to be? Plyboard. Oh, just straight plyboard, like nothing on it? Yeah, no, I'm going to put the... the. You know, I, I ordered some new... Um, uh, acoustic phone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. What's the magic word? And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the spray adhesive on, on that. Well, and it's gonna be my background. The thing is, I found the, the like, I found uh, ply board and hinges and stuff. Yeah. And all together, it's gonna be like thirty bucks. That's pretty cool. It's gonna be really inexpensive. That's pretty solid. That's pretty neat. I'm excited for how that looks. Also, I'm planning on getting a laptop pretty soon. So I can have videos encoding and still be able to play games at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you told me about that the other day. This seems like a very dangerous fucking setup we got going on here. Oh, yeah, it worked out then. Oh, oh. Yeah, it worked out great. Go. Jump off, quick. Race you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Sam. Fuck you, Sam. Oh, he made it. Yeah. Sam! Bitch. Sam, come on. Huh? Right. Come on, just jump. I'll catch you. Let's go. No. No, no. Don't you even think about it. You hear me? I'm sorry I got you into this. All of you. Hey, all that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam. Hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam. Sam! Oh, God damn it. I hate him. I hate Sam so much. I think that that's a little too strong. What? Hating him. He's an asshole. He's a big dick. He is Nathan Drake in Uncharted 1. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big dick. Of course she is. Let's go. There's a big difference. I like I just I think that that call, saying that he's a big fucking asshole is just not oh, not analyzing the character properly. It's no, just, I mean, it's, I, it's dismissing a character without really providing any sort of analysis or critical thinking to it, and just kind of throwing it off to the side as like a. I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm not trying to like. Oh, excuse me. Well, no, I'm. I'm making a point about like just in general. It's not really a, an attack on you. It's like it's. Oh, like, I see what you're saying. People in general do that a lot where they're like, oh, fuck this character. Where it's like, no, let's actually look at the character itself and like and look at it and say, like, what are the qualities and what have made them this way? Like we look at it earlier and the entire driving force behind why um, they were uh, Nathan Drake was looking for the whole Sir Francis Drake thing in the first place. Yeah, is because his mom was fascinated by it. Right. Yeah. So Sam's looking for this. Yeah. I don't know if it's 100% as, like, obviously it's not 100% as, like, a, by the way, we're going back through Libertalia right now. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. Um, it, obviously, it's not 100%, uh, like, for his mom, but that's what it started off as. Yeah. 100% started off Well, as yeah, that. he's, like, obsessed, like they said earlier. Like yeah, Exactly. He's got, he's just, he's, he's thrown his entire life into this. He doesn't know what else to do. Hey, we 
Exactly. Yeah. No, there's reasons he's a huge asshole. <laughs> it doesn't mean he's not a huge asshole. Just so douchey. Just like your brother is just like, come on, let's go not die. And he's like, yeah, but fuck you. I mean, yeah, I didn't mean to say there's not reasons. I mean, I'm not. It. Yeah, no. I mean, he definitely has done shitty things. I just don't. I don't agree with the notion that that just like he's flat out like irredeemable or not. Um, uh, uh, what is what's the right way of saying that? Um, I don't know. Yeah, like he can't be redeemed as a character. I don't think that that's sure. I think he can. Doesn't mean that right now right. he's not being a big dick. Whoa. You know how I said earlier, like, uh, like all those like things that were pretty mean, but and like you thought that I was saying you specifically, uh, but I was really just talking about like an overarching point about an analyzing characters and all that. Yeah. But also, you're a big cunt. <laughs> <laughs> now, how the hell are we supposed to get up there? We don't have enough time. Nate, no, not by yourself. I'll come right back, okay? Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight. Well, then I'll fight him if I have to, but either way, I'm bringing him back. Just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can. Oh, he's being a big dick. Like there's another Okay, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna, like, really take a second. It's his fucking brother. It is, yeah. it is his brother. No, I was joking. It was just funny that they're doing, like, the exact same thing. Don't even think about not coming back. <laughs> I love you. Same to you, cowboy. Like, this is the one game where I look at Nathan Drake and be like, this is the most, like, this is, his, his plight in this game is so fucking difficult to deal with. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's dealing with two different sides of Sam pulling him in one direction and Elena pulling him in another. Mm -hmm. And this dude's just trying to do right by everyone. And he's just trying to murder as many people as he can. That's, yeah. Was uh, that so wrong? But that's not how it is anymore. Yeah, no, I know. I'm it joking. isn't. So, it, like, to be honest. No, he, he very clearly just wanted to leave. Of or, course. Yeah. But because he was fucking bored. It was like he went from, from 60 to zero, like, immediately, basically. Yeah. yeah. And it was not the proper transition for this sort of deal. Um, honestly, I would almost argue it, it's, it's similar to like soldiers coming home. Like, yeah, I've heard a lot of stories about how like, uh, Marines or soldiers or something like that. They'll come home and they won't be able to adjust to normal life yeah, afterward yeah. or prison even like they, sure. that happens a lot. So I would almost argue he is suffering some form of PTSD. Yeah. Now, obviously not, uh, the like shell shock type where he's feeling explosions every night. Yeah. But the type where it's like I'm, I can't, I'm not used to this pace of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he goes back into the lifestyle. He just doesn't know what else to do. Yeah, exactly. Himself. Yeah, no, it makes perfect sense. And um, I think it's cool. I don't know. I just think that his character is very sympathetic in this one. Yeah. Where it's just like, fuck this dude. This dude. Yeah, this dude's being dealt a pretty shit hand at the moment. Yeah, he's there's just not really any winning. Yeah. Fuck what? God damn it. <laughs> okay, I think it was up here. Did we just fucking... Did we just go in a circle? Did we just come from here? I don't even remember. I think I did. I think I dropped... Fuck it. Whatever. No, I. that doesn't make sense. I don't think. I'm sorry. I'm too focused on talking. I need to fucking yeah, wait, pay yeah, attention to what I'm doing. No. Yeah, no, this is... Yeah, no, we, yeah, we're good. Okay. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> now what? No, no, but no, that, th no, no, not that though. Okay, hang on. Oh, oh, over there. That. My ear. Ah, all right. Get it. Please. Oh man. We are very close to the end, by the way. Are we? Yeah, I'm feeling tense. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the end juices flowing. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to finish the game in this in this session, but next time we will. That is without question to me. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> and then we'll have our review. Oh, yeah. Oh, Which won't be like the review of Until Dawn. If you saw that playthrough, it's going to be a little, little bit different. Sam, is it? Is it, Jake? Oh, I thought you were like genuinely like, no. wait, what? <laughs> I was like, I, we, I, I, what are we doing? Look behind yeah. you. <laughs> look, we have a set. It's fucking right. There. It's right. The fuck. There. Don't, don't spoil it. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> 
I didn't say what it was. You said we have something. So we something, have, something. You said we have a set. Something, something. Which is, is I, I, honestly, it's a little generous. A little hyperbolic. Yeah. I would say. All yeah. right. All right, Nate. Okay. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Nate. Who's a good Nate? You are. Oh, more things. Back on the trail. Wow, looks like he just ran right off this cliff. It's in here. Come on, which way did he go? The fuck are you? Oh. That, I think. Oh, probably. I'm going to get it eventually. There we are. Wait. Did I once again? No, I didn't. No, no, no. I feel like this might have been a part of the game like a while back. No, no, those ships make it to where I doubt that actually. Yeah. Really? Oh, come <laughs> on. Come on. Casual. Would you, would you just, Casual. just shoot me in the face, please? <laughs> just, I just want to just. die. Here we go. I just want to die. Please let me die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you just did, so good job. Clearly. I just want to be dead. <laughs> Not really, though. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anybody was certain. Yeah, people were like, well, dude, dude, is he, is he going to fucking kill himself? What is he? I was like, know. fucking finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it can just be the Alex show. Yeah, you've been waiting that for that your whole oh, life. Oh, yeah, it'll just be called, yeah, my shadow. It'll be called Alps. What is that supposed to mean? Like the mountains. Because I like mountains, so I would rename it over about oh, after my favorite mountain. Okay, I thought that you were, like, saying that, like, Jake was a part of the acronym. No. Which is just no. fucking silly. That's completely, absolutely false. Yeah. No. Everybody knows People are stands. persistent. Like, really? Yeah, there are, cer there are some persistent ones out there. No, everybody are... knows it stands for just asking lemons... Peel Sunday? I love... I want to keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quote, unquote, forever. Forever. Yeah. Never reveal what no. it actually is. We'll be like is. 80 years old in our deathbeds. People are like, what does Jalps mean? And we'll be like, it stands for... Jenny asked Lucy, please suck. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes like, sense. Wow. They're like, wow, fuck you. Fuck you. Let's just... Uh, it's a, it's a, it's just, a, it's a phrase that's really near and dear to our hearts. So we decided to dedicate the channel to it. Fuck yeah. That. Oh, hey, hey, guys. hey, that's the thing. My throat's shot, so you're gonna have to read this one. Okay. Oh, it's Burns's grandson. Bernie's. <laughs> hey, good old. April fourteenth, eighteen oh eight. Although I successfully extracted the haze bullet from my thigh, the wound festers and the fever has not abated. I long to see what lies inside the mountain, but the pain is too great to bear, and I must resist, regain my strength. With a moment's respite, doubt creeps into my mind. Was I wrong to punish the men for breaking their contract with me? I have dedicated my life to finding this place, finding every treasure, and their actions nearly robbed me of my destiny. No, my actions were just. Tonight I rest till the fever will break, and tomorrow I finish my grandfather's journey. Then upon returning home, I shall write of my exploits here, a book by Jonathan Burney's to sit in the libraries among history's greatest adventures. At worst, I shall lose this leg, but in the end I will have lived a life worth living, and Claire will be proud of me at long last. Claire. Sorry, I had a bunch of notifications on my phone. <laughs> Aw. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> just like draw a little mustache on it. <laughs> <laughs> just like completely just deface him. Yeah. Let's take a... Oh. Oh. Sorry, man. Mercy kill. <laughs> so it's he doesn't turn he into wanted. one of them Zambies. Yeah, it's what he would have wanted. There's I still? just came from there. No. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Thanks, thanks for making me look stupid on the show, Alex. <laughs> well, uh, you do that pretty good yourself, Jake. What? Jake. What was that? What the fuck you just say anymore? What the fuck you... The fuck? Hey. Oh, it's all sparkly. Huh? Hey, Sam. Did I say something? Just watch it, man. <laughs> hey, fucking... Watch yourself. I will man. end this channel. Watch yourself. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, you fucking... You cross me again. You say that shit again. <laughs> I, I sincerely... All this work, <laughs> gone. All the intro music. Yeah. All of the art. All gone. All gone. All mine. All yours. You'll destroy them. You'll burn them. Somehow. Digitally. Digitally burn them to a CD. Yeah. So you better watch it. 
Man, <laughs> I'm guy's sorry, a, guys. My voice is losing it. This guy is a footprinty motherfucker. So in total, I've spent the past like hour. <laughs> Uh, let me think. Yeah, yeah, let, let's uh, summate. You spent, oh, in total, like, the past four hours just talking. Yeah, you spent... Between, tw- between <laughs> this and then prior to that, I was playing Fallout. So, I've been, I've been speaking a lot. I've been speaking. Man, it's really lucky that there's always one of those at the end of a fucking... Of a thing. I got, like, a little, like, uh, exclamation notification on my, on my phone. Oh. Like, one of them, like, almost like it was a, an emergency... Or what, something like, oh, it? watch it. It's not on there anymore. So, I so I guess not. Hopefully, it wasn't anything you need to know about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's probably like somebody hacking my phone and they did it successfully. And so now it's not there anymore. The notification. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Yeah. It's probably just North Korea. They do not have the means to be able to do something like that. Probably China. Yes. <laughs> they have Jake's the means. Like, I can accept this. I can accept China. Though I don't think that they'd be. I think that they have so many means to be able to do something like that that they'd be like, why the fuck do we give a shit about this guy? Yeah. Fuck that guy. Use it on on George. <laughs> we need to know what George is thinking. No, the Bushman. Did you know? Oh, the Bushman. Did you know that uh, North Koreans don't know the internet exists? They're like not allowed to know. It's like a state secret I'm, that the internet yeah, exists. I was, yeah, I'm pretty sure I knew that. Isn't that weird? I've always wondered, did Seth Rogen make up the whole thing where North Koreans don't think that he actually shits Kim Jong Un? I mean, oh, and I like his body runs on peak efficiency. Or I some don't shit. know. <laughs> I think I feel like that's a made-up thing by Seth Rogen, but I could be wrong. Yeah, no, a lot of North Korean things are like just made up. Whoa! I mean, it. The thing is, is that. It sounds so fucking silly. You're like, that has to be made up by some comedy guy. Yeah. But the more I think about it, oh, is it though? Because <laughs> there's some really comical, nonsensical <laughs> bullshit that that North Korea comes up with. That's true. Whoa. Yeah. No. There's there are a lot of myths that aren't true. I forget. Like, there's a couple big ones. That just like. Yeah. That's why they're called true. myths. Huh. Never thought of it like that, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of like comedy beliefs. I'm sorry, I couldn't let you get, get away with North that one. Korea that aren't true. I, there's a couple big ones that everybody says that just aren't true. I, I don't remember. But it, I mean, also to be fair, it is like one of the most fucked up countries on the earth. So, you know, all's fair. Oh, hello. Now, I'm just kind of waiting for the person. It's like, uh, actually, like the United States, like, does the same stuff. Oh, bullshit. The United well, States is not a perfect country, but fuck North Korea. North Korea is shitty. Yeah. They starve their own people to make nuclear weapons. You don't know that America doesn't do that. I, yes. I mean, we're also shitty. Don't get me sometimes. Do you don't see that wrong. shit right there? Yeah, I do. Like that white... I can't get it. Can't reach it. Can you not go down any further? I've tried it. Do I, like, I spent literally 10 minutes in my personal playthrough trying to get to it. Really? Yeah. And, like, you just keep on hitting the fucking thing. Yeah, see? Like, you, I almost get it. And then I fucking don't. I wonder if it's possible, if it's just a fucking... I'm you. sure it is. Some asshole who spent 17 hours <laughs> doing it. But I don't care enough. <laughs> and I have other obligations. I have better ways to spend my Tim. What were we talking about? I oh, have yeah, better fuck ways to waste They my starve time. their own people in their shitty, shitty country. Yeah, but Alex, we're just a bad man. I, like, people don't understand what, like, like, people can't take middle ground. It's so annoying. Like, anytime you're like, you know, America has problems, you always get the people that are like, uh, America's a perfect country, and you need to, you, you wouldn't be able to live if you didn't live in America, you know, and it's just like, yeah, I know, I know, it's fine, but it also has problems. But you also have people, like, when you say, like, yeah, America's, you know, as far as countries go, America's not terrible. People are like, um, actually, back in the 50s, we did a bad thing. And I'm like, yeah, every country's done a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times. Like, it's I, it sucks. Sure. It doesn't mean we're, like, evil. Like, people don't, people can't, like, take middle ground. I do believe that as a country, we're better than we were in the 50s. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of shit to make up for. but The 30s, too. Red Scare, that was that was some shit. Fuck yeah, just up. in general though. Like, I don't want to get into like this big fucking 
borderline political discussion just because yeah. people will lose their goddamn minds. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just think that... I, I, th I think that we overblow how terrible things are currently, like... Oh, yeah. At using it... Like, or, like, using other times as a reference point, saying, like, it's no better than then. Yeah. When that's just kind of nonsense. No, it's way better now than it was in the 50s. Objectively. Like, you couldn't be black well, in the 50s. Well, also, like, in our wars. Uh, yeah. I mean, just just through through what we did um, to, like, foreign countries and stuff like that. Yeah, also that. So, I don't know. I no, don't... Yeah. I, I don't like I'm tr I'm trying so hard to pick my words carefully yeah. that well, no. I'm not I'm sounding incredibly unintelligent. <laughs> well, here here are some objective facts. <clears throat> there are less war fatalities now. How about we just like stop the conversation? That's another way. Well, to, no, but to do that, this, this isn't a political statement. It's just like there's less war fatalities now than there have been in any time in history as a and percentage more of the people. population. As a percentage of the population. Oh, okay, percentage. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, the number is probably higher, but like. Because we, because now, because of the globalized economy, it doesn't. It's not good to fight wars. Like it hurts our economy if we fight wars, so we do it less. Uh, and and there's also like less child poverty. There's less child hunger. There's less global poverty than there's like ever been. Like obviously those things are still problems, but it's better than it's ever been in the history of humanity. Yeah, but it, 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 unless unless it's a hundred percent, it's still. It's it's not good enough. It's not good enough. I mean, agreed. Sure. We, should, we, we want no one to be poor, no children to be starving, but like, you know, we're, we're, we're working at it. We're doing all right. Okay. Um, this is gonna, about to be a cutscene. So, Jalps. Jalps. Also, um, uh, fucking political discussions. See Dislike, this, this assholes, time. cocksuckers. <laughs> United States is terrible, great, best thing ever. Worst uh, thing ever. All the things that people say <laughs> that it has no middle ground whatsoever. <laughs> And lacks any sort of middle of the spectrum point of view that is reasonable, at least. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>